G'day all, welcome back to the channel. You'll see the other video or the other piece of the video that I did, I showed you the new board that I acquired. As you can see right now, I've done a little bit of work. I've put some new dope grip tape on it. It's a little bit average. It's taken its time to stick down. A few areas have keeps popping up, but can't complain too much. Um, put new, the new tape on it, found all the holes, cleaned it all up, put it all down, bolted up the bindings so the bindings are now natural rather than being goofy like they were before. Painted up the bull bar, painted up the springs nice blue colour, um, both front and rear. Painted up the brackets that hold the bindings down. I tidied up the box on top. There was a really old school sticker, gothic skull la label and stuff on it. I cleaned that up, I painted a nice blue GPT colored box on here and as you can see I've got GPT on there as well as the Tramper uh, logo has been put back on there, it was covered up with, a, with that sticker label thing that whoever was going on. Um, I've got the wand to go with it um, which is pretty cool. I've tested it all out, I've pulled it down, it's all working fine, I'm ready to go for my first ride. And this, I thought I'd just present the board to you a little bit tidy, a little bit ready, a little bit GPT. So, rather than buy the Baja board like all you all expected me to do, because I really was this close to doing it, I bought this super, super, super cheap. I got a great deal on it, and I thought, I'm not gonna get many chances to get my hands on a Tramper. This one came with lots of accessories, including the gears, spur gear, drive systems. Um, I took advantage while I could because I'm not going to see one of these very often so I grabbed it. Um, it's all literally tuned up ready to go. Um, I believe you know, the tyres are about 70-80% or 70%. They'll be good for a while um, just to get me enough time to get into it and see how I feel about the board and get me some tests and stuff on it so I can show you guys what I think of the Tramper. Um, it's good for me to, to try other boards out. And I really wanted a Baja board for myself. <laughs> I'm still undecided whether I did the right or wrong thing. As I said, I haven't ridden this yet. I haven't even put my feet in, haven't even stood on the board. I've just redone all this and got it ready to go again. So this will be pretty much the prelude to the first ride, which is coming up very soon. Hope you like it. Hope you uh, get something out of this. As I said, it's been a good, good little pet project of mine to tidy this back up, check it all out, redo all the bearings, make sure the board's ready to go, and I'm really liking it. Hope you guys get something out of me sharing a tramper with you. Um, it's got the LiPo batteries, it's got the 22 batteries, I don't even know what they are. I'll put a picture here so you can see what sort of batteries they are. Um, the ones Tramper recommend, um, they came with it. They might be a bit swollen, so I'm just keeping my eye on them just to be a little safe at the moment. Um, I may have to get new batteries for it. I've got two sets. I think the other ones are a bit fat too, but they were 14s, these are 22s. But again, we'll see how we go. I've yet to even put a charge into this, so that'll happen probably tomorrow night. Tonight's Thursday. This will probably, I'm not sure when this video will come out, but I'll put a charge on it tomorrow night so it's ready to go on Saturday. And um, that's it, Tramper. I hope you like it. I hope you get some fun out of watching me crash this a million times. Um, I'm glad I bought this one because if I destroy it, it won't matter so much. But I hope you enjoy the journey. And um, being an old person who loved his motocross when I was younger, I'm really curious to see whether or not I can actually get any air under this. So you can watch that journey too. That's going to be fun because there will be crashes, I'll guarantee it. Anyway. Keep on watching, Craig Taylor. Oh, keep smiling, stay upright if you can. <laughs> Till next time, Craig Taylor, GPT out. Here we are, the Tramper. This will be the first ride of the Tramper today. It's all been rebuilt. As you can see, I've pulled it apart, I've color coded. GPT logo right underneath the tramper on the box there. Got a little headlight there, which is kind of nice. Just a bike light. A spark with a little tail light on the rear. Just because you need a tail light. 
That tramp I put tramp right over there. Loving it. So the tramp is going out for a bit of a spin today and um, this is the first ride so let's see how we go. A bit nervous and um, never ridden a tramp aboard. I bought it without trying it so I'm a little insane um, but at the same time amazing board, amazing brand, amazing reputation and I needed to do some comparisons with some of the other boards I've riding you know and been riding in the past so this is a bit of a trial and we'll see how we go. So here I am I'm just Scooting on the footpath, going very slowly at the moment on Tramper. Having bindings is not something I'm very much used to. You can see. Very quiet. And it's belt driven, so very, very quiet. 12k an hour, just putting along the footpath here. It's a very unusual feeling. It's uh, very smooth. That, that The wand is um, really good, brakes are really responsive. It's going to be interesting going down gutters and going down bumps and things on this. I think I'm going to find myself very comfortable very quickly on this because it feels like it really is very controllable. We'll see how we go. The board is super springy. You can't really you can't really get a feel of how springy this board is until you're actually on one. But so I've got a bit of a wobble in my right front wheel, which is not nice. Fairly substantial run out. I can feel it. Quite quickly we're doing 30k an hour. Interesting jump on the brakes here and just turn up. The bushings are kind of firm. Oh she really wants to she really wants to get going. When you're on the grass and thick stuff, she really wants to get going really quickly. It's kind of interesting. Interesting, very, very interesting. So as you can see here, that wheel is really wobbling out. So I did balance everything, but I didn't check the tyres. Go figure. about 25k an hour. I'm going to do a bit of a speed check soon to see whether or not it's actually real. Brakes are super responsive. If I hold the reverse or brake on, it backs up. Only 3 or 4k an hour. It's really handy to have though. And away we go again. Some really interesting things on this board. I'm going to have some fun playing with them.